Yes, madam. Thank you, sir. Consumer resource management in management Dubai. Oh, he's heading the Department of Computer Science in DBJ. This on your mic, huh? But this on your mic. Not audible. But not your not audible, please on your mind. I come not, not audible, please on your mic.
हेलो मैडम ऑडिबल गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीवन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक्स टू मैनेजमेंट ऑफ त्रिपंगल नॉर्थ ऑफ कॉलेज सियालमाय चेन्नई 51 इट इज एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू डिलीवर द एड्रेस ऑफ द टॉपिक इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी राइट्स i think there is a one week fdp program already you got a more information in this uh, during a virtual faculty development program past four days like uh, how to write your quality research papers on the second day publishing the research paper in reputed journal in third day there is a plagiarism in academic research publication on fourth day there is a open source tool for research so today is a fifth day it is a final day in the final day we will discuss about the topic Importance of intellectual property rights. Uh, once again, I thanks to secretary and the correspondent through A Narayan Murthy of the Telugu Nadu College and the principal Dr. V Devi and the vice principal and as well as the IKC coordinator Dr. Yes Bimini for giving this opportunity to deliver the importance of intellectual property rights uh, in the in the, the this session. First of all, uh, what is meant by uh, This is the importance of intellectual property rights. No, it is a possible meaning. Here. What is meant by intellectual? What is meant by property? What is meant by rights? It is a, the aware of that property. Uh, but intellectual property it will be a different. What is meant by property? Simply say that it is a property is a asset. Okay, but the property can be classified in two way. One is a tangible, another one is a intangible. That it tangible means it may be physical way that can be touched that can be using a in physical way of more intangible but the feelings not in a uh, physical way the tangible also uh, classified into two broad category one is a movable and another one is a immovable that is a movable property another one is a immovable property do you aware of that movable property? For example, uh, mobile phone, uh, jewelry, car. These are the movable, immovable property. There is a asset, there is a building, or uh, any kind of uh, construction uh, of a house or whatever may be. No, there is a immovable property. Is another category. Movable category. It can be movable from one place to another place. Okay, there is a car or anything. Immovable. It is a standard one. It is a fixed one. It is a immovable. In the tangible under this category, movable, immovable, and intangible only one category that is called as intellectual property. Do you aware of that knowledge? What is the meaning of knowledge? What is the meaning of sense? What is the thinking of the different kind of uh, aspect to get the solution? So with your with the support of your brain, no. The intellectual it is uh, apart from this extension version of the your knowledge. Okay. So today we are discuss about the intellectual property rights and uh, what are the things to be discussed. No? Uh, I will tell one by one. There is an introduction. Actually, intellectual property rights plays a significant role on trade of every nation. It not only the uh, business, not only the academic. It can be uh, played significant role on trade of every nation and as well as it give the creative ideas. Getting stolen without the consent of the author. So without the consent of the author, we can uh, get the information from the source. No, that is uh, one of the uh, illegal. IPR is one of the sources of security for intangible property. What is the purpose of intellectual property rights? No, it can be prevent and it give the security for intangible properties. Now, we we'll just to see here. 
it is a definition of the intellectual property intellectual property refers to phase of the mind such as an invention literally on the artistic work designs and the symbols names and images and used in commerce and as well as it can be product in the law by for example patents copyright trademarks which enable people to earn the remains of a financial benefit from what they invent or create so main purpose is to protect the security of the source information and as well as ipr give the financial benefit to the inventor then as well as it balance between the interest of innovators and the wider public interest the ip system aims to foster an environment in which creativity and innovation can flourish Uh, I think we uh, just to see this diagram. Uh, uh, the picture of the presentation to build the clarity and uh, we will get the idea about the intellectual property rights. Uh, you just to see here copyrights, design, GI, geographical integration, and trademark, and the plant varieties. Another one is the patent rights. So these are the uh, six aspect under the header of the intellectual property: copyrights, design. geographical indication gi trademark plant varieties and patent rights let's see one by one copyrights what is the meaning of copyrights we we'll simply say that copyright is an intellectual property right that law gives to a creator of literary dramatic uh, musical and artistic work and the production of cine films and the sound recordings what or maybe it may be a musical or some kind of uh, designing work or some kind of film or some kind of uh, information uh, or research publication so under this uh, uh, control of copyright is one of the intellectual property it also applies to architectural work designing work and a computer program software it can be understood as a bundle of rights that include a right of reproduction that is a reproduction communication adoption translation of the work copyright to ensure the protection to the rights of authors over their creation and in turn aims to reward creativity so copyright is essential you cannot copy from the other person source or you cannot copy from the other person design you cannot copy from the uh, innovation ideas that will be illegal that can be controlled by the intellectual property concept is a copyright the next one is patent rights patent is a exclusive right granted for innovation and generally speaking a patent provides the patent owner the right to design right to decide how or whether the invention can be used by others in exchange for this right the patent owner makes a technical information about the invention publicly available in the published patent documents the patent documents the pharmaceutical company no for example you just to think about the dolo company dolo the dolo uh, tablet uh, to protect or to prevent the uh, headache or fever or body pain or whatever may be some kind of chemical formula that can be uh, under one uh, pharmaceutical company they will get the patent rights suppose a new company making it this kind of same combination no they will give the permission from the uh, existing company or uh, existing one suppose they did be similar some kind of changes no that is no need to get, get their patent rights uh, second one is uh, third one is plant variety that is a, it is agriculture based and the plant variety production also plant plant breeder rights is a form of intellectual property right granted to the breeder of new plant variety in relation to certain acts concerning the exploration of the product variety which require the prior authorization of the breeder for example in paddy harvest uh, no so different kind of paddy will be that is a uh, ponni or andhra ponni or uh, some kind of variety no uh, bas basmati the same thing in the latest in 2000 they introduced a one paddy variety that name called is rajaraja solan 1000 paddy so this is a uh, one of the uh, plant variety under the intellectual property rights also. and fourth one is uh, trademark we are aware of that trademark already day to day activity we are using the word trademark in business people to make a trademark 
there is a trade mark is a sign capable of distinguishing the goods or services of one enterprises from those of other enterprises trade marks date back and ancient times when artisans used to put their signature or mark on their products let us simply say that the trade mark may it is like a logo it is like a symbol it is like a one kind of design for example lg there is a lg company you no know? there is a l g one emoji is that the emoji is a smiling emoji you no know? that kind of pink color or red color lg the square shape lg word lg character will be there and one emoji symbol will be there you no know? easily the customer to identify that company sorry that product belongs to lg company. so there is a concept of lg suppose for example you see a apple symbol one black color or blue color apple will be there now the right side corner will be cut in the portion 25 percentage or 15 percentage of the portion will be cut in the uh, apple you know that indicate the apple company they cannot mention any company name or form or co limited or anything but you just see this logo see this emblem automatically you can identify that product belongs to that company okay similarly there is a samsung or a new uh, redmi phone or vivo vivo is simply that is v i v o that blue color uh, character no to indicate that it belongs to the vivo company like a flips compton keita everything for example like a uh, chennai sils or a sarana store or pothis you just see here there is a p symbol no there is a p symbol on round circle and the background is green suppose if they are carrying a bag in the public domain no you automatically you identify the black belongs to the pothis company or pothis showroom so there is a trademark or what is the purpose of trademark suppose if you create a symbol or uh, what is this uh, design everything is okay what is the purpose of trademark suppose you see here uh, there is a in uh, what is this uh, purchasing of a shirt uh, no there is a louis pip or uh, peter england so they make a good customer in the marketing so trademark means the people give the trademark the people give the importance they are making a good way so there is a geo company you no know, j i o geo automatically the avatar of that geo that is belonging to ambani group so the trademark not only the indicate the sign it will give the good will to the students so it will give it to the public the public also recognize the based on the symbol that symbol that trademark belongs to the particular company so this is the purpose of trademark once the trademark making them this kind of uh, what is this uh, symbol or logo or a, a any kind of emoji you no know, they will register in the intellectual property organization other person or third party cannot use the same symbol suppose if the apple you draw the apple will be a same but apple symbol with the partial portion will be cut in right side you no know, automatically apple company will get the or will uh, provide the legal action to you so we cannot use the same symbol for any kind of purpose so this is a, a main advantage of the trademark and uh, next one is a geographical indication what is meant by geographical indication so different kind of product different kind of uh, things will be available in different market different area you can buy the particular product in delhi or bangalore or uh, chennai or trivandrum or jammu kashmir that is not an issue but the particular product the particular thing the particular item belongs to the particular area that is a uh, based on the gi the gi expansion is a geographical indication the intellectual property organization will give the importance to the particular product based on the product uh, based on the characteristic based on the attributes of the product they will give the ga symbol for the particular thing here the geographical indication ga is sign used to on products that have a specific geographical origin and possess a qualities of reputation that are due to that origin okay. originating in a given place for example kanjipuram pattu so there is a different type of different kind of silk sarees available it may be a orani patte kanjipuram patte banaras patte or varanasi patte that is everything but the patte the, the silk saree belongs to the particular area that is a, a particular river to, uh, to produce the silk saree you no know? 
it may be belongs to conjugrum portum the conjugrum portum no there is some kind of specification a type of uh, uh, how many grams of uh, jariga will be incorporated in the part uh, that is a node that is a thread you no know? that is each and everything is a combination so that based on this combination they provide you some kind of sensory it belongs to it satisfy the some characteristics it can satisfy the attributes you no know? then belongs to conjugrum portum the next one is a thinnel veli alva you aware of that alva so alva is available in all showroom in chennai madurai or delhi or bangalore but the customer asking trinelveli alva why it not only the from trinelveli there is a combination there is a, some kind of formula to be applicable for the trinelveli alva that only it is will be a different one it is will be a unique one compared than other alva the next one is a tirupati laddu so laddu variety we are aware of the different type of laddu but tripadi laddu it get the gi that is a geographical indication we cannot reproduce the same kind of tripadi laddu in everywhere that is a illegal or you will get the permission suppose in chennai tinagar vengatnaragar road no that is they gave you a tripadi laddu maybe they be associate with the tripadi devasthana then they can uh, eligible to provide the tripadi laddu the next one is a madurai malli so madurai malli also got a gi geographical indication from the india in the india then tanjavur toys there is a tanjavur toys is a totally different compared than other toys and other things so these are the one of the geographical indication under the act of intellectual property rights the next one is uh, design the yeah, design is a plan or a specification for the construction of an object or system or for the implementation of an activity or process or result of that plan or a specification in the form of a prototype product or process for example you will just see a smith mixi or butterfly mixi no they will give some kind of design that design will be applicable only butterfly product it can be applied for smith product or it is applicable for medium mixi so they will register the design in the particular uh, name okay there is a super model this is a extreme model this is a smart model they will give you some kind of design like a pressure cooker or everything not only the product it is a, will be a, a construction of the work you see uh, and uh, uh, parliament in new house no they provide a blueprint the blueprint it will be a design it will be a getting the rights from the intellectual property they cannot reproduce in everywhere in india or apart from india so there is a design for example for example omudra arsenal medical college and hospital no that kind of design will be registered we cannot reproduce the same thing in the other thing taj mahal it is one of the design uh, intellectual property so these are the different kind of uh, things in the uh, under the intellectual property six uh, we discussed the six but during this session based on the time limit we will discuss about the uh, only three things among the six one is a patent trademark and copyright once again i recall uh, what is meant by intellectual property already i told you know there is a intangible asset that are owned by the uh, individual person or company and it production of their patents trademarks and copyrights an ip asset seeks to offer the same security protection as any other physical property and it will prevent the reproduce of any specific template or logo or functionality so this is a purpose of the intellectual property now there is sub types of intellectual property rights so already i told you know there is a six thing uh, once again i recall the main thing there is a copyright it is a right that products a tangible form of the expression like a book painting or etc it products the mannerism in which the idea is expressed the next one is a trademark it refers to the production of logo or design that an individual or company uses the distribution logo or design helps to consumer to connect with the brand value thereby ensure trust on the goods and services the next one is a patent the pattern is to prohibit the use of selling right? by another this kind of
A pattern is used to prohibit the use selling by another party for a different defined period of time of original production. In brief, the authority awards the inventor of IP right after an exemption of its viability. So among the three, the three is uh, among the six, the three is important. One is a copyright, one is a, another one is a trademark, and third one is a patent rights. So in this scenario, uh, we will uh, discuss about the, what are the benefits of IP rights in modern era. Uh, innovative idea means you learn a profit. Suppose uh, there is a knowledgeable person, no? they will invent something or getting some idea, so getting uh, some kind of uh, thought no? that can be implemented in the society. And uh, not only the implementation, they will give the uh, some kind of uh, authorization kind of uh, uh, what is this a permission based on it they may be earn profit ideas to have a little to no worth of their own ip has a great untapped potential to turn your innovation into product and services which are commercially viable and the export business opportunity the productivity of your company in the export market is also improved by intellectual property uh, actually the government of india introduced the make in india concept Normally, that is a made in China. No, they treated as a. It is not a good quality product. It is a lowest quality product, least quality product. No, but it may be made in India. No, we will give the importance to the uh, Indian people, Indian inventors, and the Indian products. No, that may be to make a brand uh, throughout the global. So it is a, one of the export business opportunity, and encourage the ideas by securing them. There will still be people who will attempt to duplicate the concept or a development for a uh, monetary benefit if anyone has unique idea development. So it is one of the uh, benefit of the IPR, a unique idea uh, to product the reproduction and as well as to earn the profit and uh, make an enhancement of the financial benefits and the business growth also. The shielding the exclusive goods or services which the rebels use to take away market share, resulting in steady growth and profits is very important for small scale enterprises. There is a goodwill, no, already we told that the word goodwill, goodwill. What is meant goodwill? For example, Narasu's coffee, no? What is a uh, Narasu's coffee? Coffee is a combination of chicory and coffee. Maybe it is 70%, 30%, or 60, 40, whatever, maybe. But they provide us some kind of trademarks, some kind of uh, goodwill. The consumer asking repeatedly only Narasu's coffee for chakra gold tea. The chakra gold tea, the same combination, but that is a different kind of variety. But they can create a brand, they create a, a trademark. The consumer will give the importance to the trademark, the importance to the uh, logo or a symbol or a company. So it is uh, IPR. Suppose IPR not available, that kind of legal po policy not available in India means the replication, uh, reproduction, uh, copying the same thing, no? We cannot uh, identify which one is original, which one is uh, duplicate. So this is uh, one of the issue. So IPR may uh, some kind of benefit uh, during this era. Copyright. So during the session, we will in depth today discuss about the copyright only because uh, we are uh, under uh, academician education list. Uh, uh, copyright is uh, essential to publish the paper in journal or a conference or a seminar or a, any kind of workshop in thing. The intellectual property right granted to creators and the authors to protect their creative work against unauthorized use. The copyright uh, essential uh, aim is to against to the unauthorized use. Suppose if you get the permission from the source person or owner, no, that is not an issue. Straight away, uh, we will discuss about copyright way, a copyright in in-depth way. Copyright is a type of intellectual property production recognized and granted by the Indian laws to original work of authorship. Section 14 of the Copyright Act 1957 refers to exclusive rights vested to the creators of certain works. The Copyright Act, actually Indian Law Act, the law is a Copyright Act 1957. And section is 14 gives the how to introduce the copyright, how to ensure the copyright for the own item, and how to proceed the uh, legal formalities for the uh, intruder or uh, without permission using the, some third party. You know? 
that is literally such as what the books poems table complementary computer programs some journal publication it may be expressing the course or words then grammatic words on theoretical place for example kadai tra kadai direction no sometimes that uh, super good films uh, provide a some kind of play that will be a chennai 21 may may be already the person registered chennai 21 and as well as some films play already registered no that is a illegal suppose the the screen play can be used or reproduced or changing in the forthcoming film no they will get the permission from the producer and as well as the director so this is a uh, one of the concept of the copyright and uh, i already told you know the film and the video also under this category copyright and original musical works uh, you know uh, ilai raja and uh, sp balasubramani is a close friend of more than 40 years but uh, four years back some conflict between the ilai raja isanani ilai raja and as well as uh, sp balasubramani why but there is a uh, sp balasubramani is a singer but musical effort by the ilai raja so ilai raja have a copyright don't use the my song or my music in the public domain so they may be gave a some kind of illegal legal notice to the sp police museum and immediately the sp police museum stop the ilai raja songs so original musical works sound recording also under this category of the copyright then artistic works such as paintings photographs or technical drawings including architectural design suppose there is a photograph you no know, the photograph designing or painting on in a uh, particular thing you now for example uh, uh, chess uh, latest uh, uh, in the past uh, was 6 month before we conducted a chess competition in the mamallapuram in the chess competition they drawing a diagram there is a chess symbol and a, a one thumb symbol that will be identically and as well as it will be belongs to the tamil nadu government and uh, what is this uh, sports development authority so it belongs to that kind of symbol that kind of design belongs to sports development authority of government of tamil nadu the other government other uh, what is this uh, company or a sports company cannot use this uh, symbol this kind of paintings so these are under the copyright how the copyright to product the uh, ideas and the uh, information source no it is not like uh, unlike a patent law the expression of the idea is product under the copyright law rather than idea itself there is a no copyright on ideas for instance suppose an artist paints a picture of a fruit fruit bowl the finished a painting is a product no one else would be able to create a exact replica or used painting without permission of the artist already i told you no suppose the painter to draw a some kind of symbol no it is a bharatanatyam symbol or some kind of tree or some kind of uh, fish or some kind of uh, scenery also the natural scenery so no? they will be artist by some kind of ravi kumar no that is the artist belongs to ravi kumar this uh, picture the image belongs to the particular person the same kind of pictures the same kind of painting will be reproduced in the different place no you will get the permission from the artist ravi kumar or otherwise it will be a legal legal at that time suppose that that party producing the uh, same kind of uh, painting or same kind of picture no the artist ravi kumar will suit or will give the uh, what is this a legal proceedings to the third party so this is one of the major uh, benefit uh, copyright and uh, how to product copyright does not to product a names slogans short word combination titles plots process or other factual information names and short word combination used of branding and trading can be product by a way of trademark registration process concepts and re products can be product by filing a patent registration already i told you know the copyright patent and as well as trademark that is interlinked copyright means it is a source of information cannot produce in the any kind of format in the anywhere now trading that is a trademark registration means that will be the some kind of short name for we change lives we change lives is a one of the slogan that slogan belongs to one particular company we cannot use the same slogan for the other company we change lives that is a slogan it belongs to one particular company we cannot use the same slogan in other company 
so the name short word already i told no some kind of emoji some kind of symbol logo under this trademark registration the next one is a patent registration suppose if you invent a particular product or a, uh, making a some kind of concept or executing some kind of process no that process concepts and products can be product by filling a patent registration so i think you can aware of these three things copyright is different and the trademark is different and patent registration is different and based on this uh, uh, product based on this use and uh, what are the rights under copyright the right vested can only exercised by the owner of the copyright the copyright only executed by the owner the owner can also license to copyright to third party on payment of royalty this right includes suppose uh, already i told no we cannot copy from we cannot get the source or stolen from the source of information suppose willingly or voluntarily the owner give the permission to the third party in terms of payment of royalty for example uh, natural saloon the natural saloons in everywhere in the uh, tamil nadu and as well as uh, apart from the tamil nadu the natural company owner is a only one person but different uh, business people get the same brand in the different location in for example in chennai more than 100 uh, saloon shop under the name of natural but owner is uh, natural owner is uh, having only uh, more than uh, 200 but thousand uh, shops are available throughout the india how that is a uh, franchise how get the franchise the franchise mean we will use the name logo and some kind of procedure but our own place our own employee our own uh, style of approach but they pay we are royalty what is mean by royalty no there is using the logo using the symbol using the copyright no the third party to pay the royalty at the time copyright is a legal it is not a legal how there is rights to be include right of adoption and right of reproduction and right of publication and right to make a translation the right of communication to the public so these are the things rights are under copyright with the permission of the owner with the permission of the uh, inventor with the permission of the source uh, person okay copyright production how to protect the copyright the safeguard the interest of creators and the rewards their creativity in the form of recognition and monetary gains how to safeguard means uh, it gives the importance to the creators uh, in the form of recognition and as well as the monetary gains and encourage the economic and social development suppose uh, each and every person having a different kind of idea you know so the copyright to encourage the different kind of social development suppose a person a thinking about some kind of formula person b thinking about some kind of formula person c some kind of formula. so we will get the more than 3 to 5 formula on particular company or particular product on particular process but without the any kind of copyright or without any kind of intellectual property law no the same thing will be using for example in students no during their practical session they may be copying from the record notebook they will be type and get the result but good people and uh, what is it, the brilliant people no they will think about this uh, logical way and write the coding different coding different unique one and get the same uh, result so there is a encourage the social development encourage the thinking aspect encourage the uh, innovations uh, these are the copyright uh, benefit and a sharing expressing idea without fear of piracy unauthorized use so suppose if you are owner of the particular thing no you can share and you can express idea without the fear and as well as to increase the access to culture knowledge and entertainment already i told you no know, it enhances the knowledge it enhances the uh, intelligent and as well as not only intelligent uh, knowledge and as well as entertainment entertainment so everybody asking the same thing no they think about and work out and the reality uh, what is the impact of the particular thing no they will get some kind of experience and as well as happiness and as well as to make an entertainment our question is is copyright registration mandatory already i told the copyright what is mean copyright how to protect how to prevent what is the purpose benefit how will get the uh, financial benefit everything is working okay. 
our question is is copyright registry is mandatory mean the creation of copyright is not based on official or legal procedure it is only a legal procedure and the copyright is created when the work comes to into existence and as considered to be product immediately when it is created copyright registration service a prime is a evidence of the court of law should the creators or registered owner want to file a suit for infringement of rights suppose in initially you are not uh, aware of that uh, copyright no your product your uh, what is this your uh, company will be good but at the same time law apart from the for uh, next to 5 years no you are you will get the more profit but the same you know. kind of product same kind of ah yes same kind, same kind of product will be using by the other person no at the time you can suit and you can uh, put a legal proceedings for the third party so it is a copyright registration is a mandatory to secure your uh, ownership and uh, secure your uh, copyright and as well as get the financial benefit infringement rights the copyright material is considered infringement only when a substantial part of the material is used by another person without the prior permission substantial part varies work from and more based on quality than quality for instance if a song writer copies a very catchy pairs from other work then could be amount of infringement despite the fact that only a pairs of the infringement of art for example that poem you no know, there is the copying from the some kind of words from the uh, other source no it is also one of the illegal issues then use of work without permission of the owner it is a different aspect uh, past of half an hour i told about this uh, ownership and uh, what is this a copyright uh, suppose using the existing one it is a illegal how to avoid the illegal and how to get the permission now there is a different angle of question use of work without permission of the owner is it possible yes possible the copyright law allows the use of copyright material under the provision of fair use by providing certain exception what are the exception that is subject to certain provision the material can be used for the purpose of research study relevant reference that will be a reference that will be a, uh, without permission of the owner you can use for example suppose you were talking about the operating system or network in the uh, computer science students know you will get the information ppt from the uh, what is this a book author or any kind of pdf no we cannot uh, under the control of copyright so without the permission we utilize the same material and teach this some kind of content and work out the some kind of uh, academic purpose so for research study and reference and as well as in a library and the educational institution no need without permission it is only for social purpose it is uh, uh, suppose if you are using this financial benefit you know at the time you will get the permission of the owner without financial benefit without any kind of commercial aspect you can access the information from the owner in connection with the, any legal products or crit criticism review or news reporting there is a new risk reporting there is a so and so telling about this something now for example uh, new education policy so inter the new education policy section 2a telling about this something no so that kind of information will be addressed to gathering by the principal in the institution there is a no need to get the permission okay so without the permission of the uh, npt uh, new education policy authorized person the principal to address the new education policy points in the meeting or in the uh, seminar or conference so these are the purpose without uh, permission of the owner we can utilize the uh, source information now, significance of copyright law academics and research actually intellectual property rights is a vast one Uh, suppose if you are talking about intellectual property and uh, uh, relevant case studies no it will uh, more than one week or 10 days to complete the entire show but uh, i focusing i am talking about only the uh, copyright and and the copyright it belongs to or in the domain of educational 
academic and research only then only we have to complete the session within one hour now significance of copyright law academics and research copyright issues in academic and research there is a doctrine of fair use already i told you know section 52 of the copyright act 1957 and digitalized copyrighted material that is already i told you know the pdf we can download and uh, utilize the opportunity of uh, source of information for the purpose of research and the academic purpose the spirit of copyright law is to protect recognize and enforce the creator rights copyright law can facilitate the recognition and the commercial exploitation of the academic and the research work in the academic context this is possible through the economic and the moral rights protected under the copyright act legally protecting one's academic work can reduce the chance of illegal duplication and the plagiarism related activity it may also the legal action taken against the those committing unethical research practices we can use the source of information but we have to acknowledge we have to uh, put the same thing in the reference part so that time we cannot use the uh, copyright problem okay we cannot uh, under the copyright problem so copyright act uh, provide the uh, information you can utilize for the purpose of academic research without any kind of financial benefit, without any uh, type of commercial aspect, any kind of unethical research practice. At that time, the copy is acceptable, copy is adoptable, copy is acknowledgeable. The doctrine of fair use in the contest academy. Uh, it is a legitimate the use of copyright works for educational, scientific, and the cultural advancement of society without concern of the owner of the copyright under the section of 52 of the Copyright Act 1957. Already I told you know, for the purpose of academic research, we can utilize reporting of current events and affairs, including the reporting of lecture delivered in a public or reproduction of any copyrighted work in order to include it in a question or for academic institution purpose or publication of a copyright work in good faith or educational purpose. Repeatedly they say educational purpose or uh, research purpose or for good faith, it will be acceptable, it is uh, applicable. Suppose if you are using for the unethical issue or uh, financial benefit or commercial purpose, at that time they can product, they can provide the legal uh, context. Uh, same thing that is reporting of current events and uh, several copyrighted materials used for academic purpose by teacher, peoples or institutions since it falls under the ambit of the fair use doctrine. Uh, we are aware of that the professor also creating a, some kind of uh, PPT presentation or e-content, you know, this uh, syllabus is there. Based on the syllabus, they will get the more information from the various sources. It may be a Google or a, some kind of book or a, some kind of uh, digitalized material, you know. They will get the information and they may be uh, fine-tuning of the existing information and providing the PowerPoint presentation to the students uh, for capturing the idea in an easy way. So this is not under this uh, illegal. Uh, I think this session to uh, give the differentiate between which one is legal, which one is illegal under the terms of copyright, under the title of intellectual property rights. The Copyright Act fails what is included within the ambit of fair dealing. For example, a publication of uh, metallurgy induced uh, bonus copyright has been held on not fair dealing. The onset of the pandemic, several institutions have shifted to online modes of teaching. As a result, a wide area of digitalized copyright material is being distributed among students. However, there is an uncertainty around how the Copyright Act would apply to today's online education system. We are aware of that. The past two years back now, there is uh, online classes, online material. At the time, we utilized a different kind of source from the Google. So we adopt, we download some kind of PPT, some kind of PDF and utilize uh, for teaching purpose and they give the give as a notes to the students know. So this is one of the different kind of uh, uh, aspect during the pandemic period. Now, how to avoid the copyright infringement while quoting in journal? For example, citation for another work is not sure solution to avoid copyright infringement. While citation shows good faith or fair use, it does not necessarily prevent the violation of rights. Infringement can only be avoided seeking the owner's permission or by using the exception under the copyright law. There is a, it is not a new word, 
already we the such scholar and uh, professor know about this citation what is meant by citation we can refer the particular existing journal article or any kind of procedure or proceedings no they can be cited on the particular journal so it is not like that uh, illegal it may be shows a good faith it is a fair use there is a purpose means not to avoid the owner's permission and but it is one of the exemption under the copyright law uh, then only we requested the all the professor research scholar uh, in the reference you no know, you have to mention the references and citation you can indicate which sources even so for example uh, some kind of uh, government uh, india functions or a government function you no know, it will be uh, what is a telecast only in the shin channel but the other private channel Uh, not get the uh, live show at the time the private companies the private tv companies getting the uh, same video from the uh, dd podige that is a government channel and as well as the corner right side corner in the bottom they for putting one word courtesy dd podige for what purpose there is a dd podige have a uh, rights to telecast on the government function but other companies or private company federated tv channels get the source from the dd podigai and also that is a, like a citation like a reference no they put a courtesy from uh, courtesy colon then dd podigai so what purpose we utilize the dd for dd podigai live uh, video but with the permission of the dd podigai then they indicate the courtesy dd podigai and two way to avoid violation of copyrights while quoting someone or in a journal or book the only sure shot to avoid infringement of copyright is seeking by the permission of the owner or making sure you fall under the exception when in mentioned in the indian copyright act how to avoid the violation of copyright only two way suppose if you are seeking the permission of the owner no issue or you have to check if it is a exceptional case or not if the exceptional case under indian copyright act no that is not an issue you can utilize the uh, opportunity okay and uh, uh, seeking permission how to get the permission many creators are willing to share their work either for free or with the proper attribution some owner to selling the product with some already i told you no know, royalty the same concept they getting the some kind of financial benefit they will give the uh, permission and as well as some kind of licensing licensing and copyright uh, permission also under the copyright act 1957 however the basic condition is that such agreement licensing must compulsory appear financial aspect or otherwise we cannot get the permission apart from this some kind of exception under the copyright act if the user in the journal result in any one of the following situation then permission of the owner is not required where such use would not fall under the rules of unauthorized use however you must see ensure that the credit of the work is acknowledged to avoid the plagiarism so i think one word is a plagiarism uh before discuss of about copyright infringement will not hold a ground when the work is used for personal use or private study there is no need by education and research institution no need for criticism and review no need in judicial proceedings no need by the legislature no need so by an amateur club these are the exceptional case for the copyright infringement now Uh, already we are aware of that word uh, copyright and plagiarism uh, i am telling about the original plagiarism plagiarism occurs when the work of an author is used without acknowledgement this result in a false claim giving the impression that you are the creator of the work a uh, citation is an obvious cue to ensure that your content does not fall under the uh, purview of plagiarism however this is not necessarily the case of copyright infringement so plagiarism uh, in the journal publication or uh, conference proceedings no you have to acknowledge the source so this distinction between the plagiarism and the copyright what is the difference plagiarism is different from copyright in the sense a copyright lost for limited period in india 
the term of the copyright is only 60 years after which the work falls under the public domain however irrespective of whether the work is a product by a copyright or not you can still plagiarize it there is a plagiarism is totally different from copyright copyright is uh, uh, applicable is a limitation period of only 60 years after 60 years after 61th year it is a copyright is a common right no need to get the permission from the owner but the owner is a one particular source of information no the source of information is a particular owner after 61th year copyright will be lapsed 61th year you have to, you can utilize the same thing but at the same time plagiarism will be applicable for your source of information so this is a major difference between the plagiarism and the copyright copyright means on certain period the copyright means up to 60 years after 61 is a public domain after 60.2 year you can utilize the information without permission of the uh, owner but it will be under plagiarism so to avoid the plagiarism you can mention the source of content there is a citation always cures the plagiarism there is a reference a bibliography citation to prevent it to cure the plagiarism so this is a difference between the plagiarism and uh, as well as the uh, copyright while plagiarism is a unacknowledged use of person work copyright violation is an unauthorized use of content suppose you cannot mention in the acknowledgement no it automatically under the copyright violation therefore if you use someone work it could be still a copyright violation despite the fact you would have given necessary citation in a court of law a citation can be used to show proof of good faith but it is not a sufficient defense against the infringement so i request to all the faculty members and as well as the uh, research scholar don't copy from the other source okay so you can think and you can get the idea you can provide the new things new ideas new suggestion it will be a far far better in the uh, lifelong or academic journey or other way will be to face the illegal person suppose you utilize this uh, existing information without the permission of the owner no that may be arise a plagiarism how to avoid the plagiarism you can say make a citation or a bibliography or reference no you can acknowledge the source of information automatically to cure the plagiarism now there is a new one are you submitting your research to a trusted journal or publisher is it the right journal or book for your work so this thought this thinking is uh, going on in every day uh, among the research scholar and the professor now i will give you one uh, site uh, are you submitting any kind of research to the trusted journal or publisher are you thinking about or suspecting it is a right journal or a right uh, book or it is a false one no go to website there is a think check submit.org the website name is please note down think check submit.org the think check submit suppose if you are clicking the particular uh, link or website the three option is there there is a first one is a think or you submitting your research to your trusted journal or publisher it is the right journal or book for your work then check use of your checklist to assess the journal or publisher and submit only if you answer yes to the question on your checklist automatically you have to submit and uh, publish your panel in the reputed journal or reputed book okay so this is a uh, one of the essential website uh, before submission, before uh, publishing your paper in a reputed journal or a book. Uh, different kind of copyright tools are available. The copyright tools can help the libraries and others to be more comfortable with their work to interpret the limitation and the exception to the exclusive rights granted to the copyright holder under US copyright law. There is a public domain slider section 108 spinner fair use evaluator exception for instructor e tools these are the different uh, copyright tools you can utilize the cooperative tool and uh, ensure the uh, copyright uh, problem or legal issues these tools are available online for anyone to use or link to okay and uh, moreover the government of india uh, introduced the teachers manual understanding intellectual property rights uh, i think uh, this kind of pdf is available uh, you just uh, see here the website name and the link uh, capam.gov.in 
So in this website, uh, one uh, PDF is there. There is a teacher's manual understanding intellectual property rights. Uh, you can uh, see this website and you can download the teacher's manual understanding intellectual property rights. So you will get a more idea about the uh, intellectual property rights uh, in terms of the academic research publication, how to place for the students and the professor to enhance the knowledge in the academic scenario. So please note down the website link and you can download the manual and the read out. Uh, you will get the more idea about the intellectual property rights. Now, this is a final stage. I will conclude the session. Not all works are product by the copyright. Therefore, there can be no infringement when there were no rights, no begin with. One should also understand copyright only products the expression of the idea and not the idea itself. When you recreate another's idea without their permission, it might not amount to copyright infringement, but it could fall under the uh, plagiarism. Already I told you, know, there is a financial benefit, it will be copyright. Suppose without the financial benefit, you can utilize for the uh, good faith, you know, that is called as plagiarism. While it might not always lead to legal proceeding, plagiarism can be sufficient ground for both academic and professional violation of ethics. So I request you, all the faculty members or the research scholars, kindly replace your own idea, your thoughts, your innovation, your uh, uh, ideas, information, no? that will be better in your academic journey. Suppose if you are using the any kind of information from the other source or, uh, or previous existing source, that is a plagiarism will be occur. How to avoid the plagiarism? You can change in the words and as well as uh, to acknowledge in the reference and the citation to avoid the plagiarism. And copyright means, suppose if you are using in the commercial purpose or getting the financial benefit, it is under the copyright law, uh, law act. They may be given a suit or a, a legal proceedings about the information. So uh, in this level, I conclude the intellectual property rights. So there is a pattern uh, uh, copyright and uh, what is this uh, GI geography indication? So these are the under copyright, uh, sorry, intellectual property rights. Uh, we are of that intellectual property right uh, institution, government of India, uh, comp uh, institution available in India. Suppose if you are uh, providing some kind of innovation, some kind of uh, unique information, you can register under your name in uh, Indi office, intellectual property rights. Uh, uh, commission office available in Hindi. You can register under your name. So you will get the more benefits, secure your information, and as well as you will get the financial benefit in the future. Uh, thanks uh, thanks to all uh, the Trithangal model management and as well as the uh, principal, Dr. B. Devi, secretary and the correspondent and the IPAC coordinator and the vice principal. And uh, as well as the, especially thanks to coordinator, uh, Dr. Malmai, uh, for giving the opportunity. And I thank to all the participants for the listening of the intellectual property rights to pass to one of us. I think this session will be hopefully uh, benefited with the research scholar and the academician. So please uh, visit the website already I mentioned and shared in the PPT. Uh, thank you. Thank you all. All the best. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.